when you go in front of an audience immediately you start looking all these people and you think in your mind oh my god these people think that i'm not good for example in my case i was thinking my accent was terrible all these things hi guys i'm fabrizio and welcome to my youtube channel and today my talk is about how to stop negative thinking and pattern part two but i didn't forget that today this month is about be yourself love yourself value yourself and i'm talking about mental health topics this is the reason because this is this today i will talk again about negative thinking and pattern and how can we stop that as i said in my last week last, last week i will talk i, I spoke about five types of negative thinking that we do most of the time. Today I will talk about uh, other fives. Are you ready? I hope that are you ready about that. Let's talk about the first one. The first one is called mental reading. When we think that we can read the people mind, but most of the time we don't know what people are thinking. When I started my career as a speaker, of course, I was so afraid. And one of the biggest um, with my client, and of course, I will talk about uh, the fear of public speaking, was um, when you go in front of an audience, immediately you start looking at all these people and you think in your mind, oh my God, these people think that I'm not good. For example, in my case, I was thinking my accent was terrible, all these things. But one day, I changed how because I went there and I say, these people are waiting me to speak. No, they are judging me. And I, start, and I stopped thinking about what, you know, about their, their opinions, what they were thinking about me. That was a good strategy. And today I still apply as well right now with all of you. Some of you can like me, some of you will, can, cannot like me. It's like that, this is the life. There is always a reason to stop the mental reading. Let's go to the second one. The second one is stop blaming. And I was as well in this case, and I found as well in many, many my clients to blame other people, especially when we think about our past, especially in my community, the LGBTQ community, it's not easy to, to talk about to some topics of our past. For example, we, especially during our childhood, we had so many difficulties and traumas. So we, we like to blame, like probably it's not the right word, but for us, it's easy to blame but unfortunately it's no good when you are you know you go into uses after you study after that you go to the work environment and if you blame you don't find any solution and you don't grow as a person so it's really important to stop the blaming attitude i would say the blaming the blame way to to challenge the situation i always advise think about the situation I think about the environment where you are right now and I'm going to tell you that you will find that most of the time <laughs> it's always 50 50 there is no there is no perfection there is no the the perfect fight where you say it's him it's him no it's always 50 50 in all relationship okay the number three is no good or, or you feel maximization or minimization. I hope that my pronunciation is correct. Maximization when you think, oh my God, I'm fantastic, I'm great. Minimization, I'm a loser, I'm no, no, no. And you don't, there is no balance. So you have to work on that. In the same case, you, when you see only the positive, you don't see the positive thing that you are achieving. Oh my God, I used to be like that. I'm Sometimes I'm like that. Too. you do so many positive things and you don't realize these positive positive things in fact i always ask to my client to write 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 um, to have a journal where they can write their achievement or to be grateful about three things the number two is my favorite one but think about your positive outcome because it's um, so important what we do positively and the other one what is when we are focused on 
negative and I say let's stop the negative pattern because when we our mind is for it's more easy for us to to be on the negative aspect let's stop let's try away and there are so many different ways as i said in my last i talked about some therapy in the next video we'll talk about hypnosis ready for that but one of the greatest way to stop all the negative patterns when you start having negative thoughts is to meditate as I said, I have so many topics here that I would like to talk for hours and hours and hours, so, but I like that I give a bit of suspense for each talk. My meditation is really good because when you meditate, these negative thoughts, it depends what, which meditation uh, do you like. But for example, let's talk about mindfulness. The mindfulness is about you have the thought and this thought goes away and you are focused on the now. And it's really important the breathing. It's really important that you feel all your, all your, you are in contact with your body. And that you try to be aware of this thought. But at the same time, this thought, go away. Remember, I, I talked about these 10 ways that we utilize with negative thinking, but there is always a solution. There is always a way to find a correct approach in our life, and especially to live a life where we are happy, especially we can appreciate our positive achievement. Hope that you enjoyed my talk about how to stop negative thinking part two, and I will meet you to the next one and about I just don't want to tell you again. You will find it in the next uh, video. And remember, my favorite quote is be true to you. Bye bye.